Africa. Uh, when I was 14 years old, I decided to sail around the world by myself. Um, I was 16 when I successfully completed that voyage. So um, I'm still holding the record to be the youngest to sail around the world on my own. And these days I'm running a sailing foundation uh, on this, this boat. And we sail with teenagers, so my trip by now is, is, is quite a while ago. But I really learned a lot from that experience and I really felt like I wanted to give that opportunity of, of learning and seeing the world to other teenagers as well because it's quite a vital and important stage of your life in which you learn and develop a lot. Uh, so that's what I'm currently doing on this boat. Sailing is, is so beautiful because I can really connect with nature. I can disconnect from the world. I can really come to myself. I can understand who I am without the pressure of the world and everyone around me. It, it really gives me the sense of, of being me and being in the world and being with nature. And sailing is so purely with nature. Um, I mean, you use the winds and the waves and the currents to get to the places you want to go. Um, and that's something very beautiful, something that I also really wish to pass on since we live in quite a hectic world. Um, so it's, it's nice for, for people to just disconnect from that for a little while and realize that, that nature is still all around us and that it's much more powerful than humans that we need to actually work and live together with it. Uh, so, I have had this idea of starting up this foundation to sell with teenagers for quite a few years already and been working on finding a boat and actually getting the money together to get the boat. Um, and it's been, it's been quite a challenge actually because I don't want to have a too big a boat. Um, I really like sailing in small groups because that way I can really pay attention to every single child that's on board and, and go with them through the process. So I didn't want it to be too big, I want it to be personal. Um, but of course I also want the boat to be big enough to like take some and still like not lose heaps of money on it. It becomes expensive, boats are expensive to run. Um, so having the right layout and the right type of boat, that that was quite a challenge. And uh, the boat we currently have, we're quite happy with. We still have in mind in line to, to build boats that I have designed, but that's going to have to be a little bit further down the line because we just haven't found the resources to do that yet. Um, but yeah, this lady is definitely a really good start and, and she's been really great to us, so we're, we're very happy. So, yeah, obviously renewable energy is super important to us. Um, I really like to run the boat completely of renewable energy, which right now isn't quite possible. We still have the engine and we still have to run it a bit. Um, but we've got heaps of solar panels, so they uh, give us a lot of the energy that we use. Um, and we try to set up the boat as efficiently as possible. I think it's also partly of using this renewable energy. I mean, yeah, the diesel, it's not good for the environment. It costs a lot of money. It makes, would make the trip more expensive. So using renewable resources and energy is definitely contributing to being able to make the trips a little bit cheaper. Um, but it's also much better for the world. And I really like that feeling because it has so much to do with sailing. It's, it's why I like sailing. It's so natural to use use natural things to go places um, so for me it would just be a shame if we would have to like run a generator all the time um, because that would just make that effect go away then there is still an engine running you still don't have the peace of the ocean um, and you're, you're still not completely connected to nature so yeah for me having having the solar panels is is really really important My advice to other young sailors would be to just go out and do it. Um, I, I think that would be to, to any young person who has a dream or has a goal, it doesn't have to be specifically sailing.
sailing but it's just important to have plans and to go for it and it will be hard like whatever you're gonna do it's, it's gonna be tough and you're gonna fall in your nose and people are gonna say that you can't do it or you shouldn't do it um, but I think it's important to, to fight to fight for the things that we believe in and to keep going because that's the only way that we're gonna manage to achieve new things and, and become better people yeah, I just want to really say a huge thank you to Solbian for providing us with these custom-made panels that fit so nicely. Uh, they've really been a blessing to us on, on this adventure ground trip that we've done. So, yeah, we're just super, super grateful for their support and help in, in the future.